A New York City firefighter critically injured battling a fire on Staten Island is now expected to make a full recovery. CBS 2's Astrid Martinez has the latest. And that firefighter lost control of his hose nozzle, causing him to knock off his face mask and inhale dangerously hot fumes. And although he remains intubated here at the hospital, officials say his condition has significantly improved. Anytime somebody's intubated, it's considered a very, you know, a very critical situation. A New York City firefighter is in serious but stable condition after suffering severe burns to his airways. He was battling a blaze in Staten Island Friday night. Video captured shows smoke billowing in the sky from miles away. Fire truck sirens could be heard in the background as emergency responders approach the house. There was a heavy fire condition with uh, fire coming out the windows of the dwelling when the firefighters arrived. The fire broke out around 8.30 on Gary Court. FDNY says the fire started on the second floor of this three-story home. It took crews almost an hour to get the flames under control. While they started to extinguish the fire, the nozzle hit into his face piece and his face piece became loose. Officials say the firefighter breathed in superheated gases that were coming from the fire. He was able to climb back down the ladder while other firefighters took over the hose and continued fighting the flames. He was immediately rushed to the hospital along with another resident who suffered a minor injury. And fire officials have determined the fire was accidental caused by a power strip. On Staten Island, Astrid Martinez, CBS 2 News.